Hello everyone for the final match between Clem with the Blue Terran and Astrea with the Red Protoss. We had uh, three intensive matches. This is the last one. So like usual, my name is Keanu and we are going to watch it together to see who is going to be the actual winner. Astrea or Clem. So far standard opening. Let's see together. A gateway, an assimilator, and here for the Terran we have a refinery and a barrack. Look at the APM. 300, 400, 500, 600. So that's a lot. So far workers equal. Liquid claim with 17, Astrea with 18. Look at the difference in minerals. One worker makes a huge difference. Especially in the early game. The Goethe is ready. The usual Reaper for the Terran and Let's see what Astrea is going to build. He's not using his gateway yet. The probe is here with a pylon at the entrance of the fortress. He has enough uh, scouting information from the probe and the Reaper is going in the opposite direction. Reapers are very useful, they can jump cliffs uh oh, a bunker, <laughs> a bunker in the middle of uh, the second base, you are very courageous, very courageous, I give you that Clem, let's see if this is actually going to do something, it is going to work, a shield battery, and now we are together, about the SUV and the Reaper. <laughs> what a great game. So the Stalker is trying to attack the SUV. The SUV is jumping back in the bunker. Now with two Stalkers, I don't know how much you can do. Delay a little bit of mining time. But that's it. If the SUV is exiting the bunker, he's going to be dead. In the meantime, the Reaper is getting away safely. Some of the money are being recovered from the bunker. A bunker is 100 minerals. But 75 out of 100, it's okay. And finally, a little bit of cheese. A gateway in the proximity of the Terran. So no, this is not going to be a standard match after all. The Reaper is trying to be annoying. The Stalker is chasing the Reaper, both of them. And now a gateway in the proximity of the Terran base. And Clem has no idea about it. Ah, he saw it. So, a push with four Stalkers. Oh, excellent. Two Ido mines, making sure to keep the stalkers at bay. How was the expression? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But a widow mine is way better when he's going to face a stalker. One is already dead. This has low shield. Only one stalker, 100%. As you can see, shields is regenerating itself, but not the actual health. Now we have a sentry. The sentry can literally block the entrance forever. But in the meantime, 
We have a counter attack, but here is a wall off. So free aliens. If they were able to reach the mineral line, game over. The medivac is trying to harass. The probe is here waiting for a nexus. Now the Protoss has to go back. Nothing uh, else that Astra can do. That was very funny. The Reaper made two stalkers jump around. I'm pretty sure Astra is going to go and kill the web a warp gate and the pylon. A tank, just as a safety measure. Couple of marines. The mule, this robotic, extremely useful uh, robot that can uh, dig up more minerals than the rest. Here we have the third nexus, the second. We have a robotic facility which is chrono boosting as we speak a Colossus and the hero Reaper is dead more gateways are being added no upgrades whatsoever Astrea is probably going to make a decisive push Here we have a weapon, level 1, attack. Two medivacs at once, a marauder, two marines, and two widow mines. So, hmm, someone is getting a gold mineral. Gold minerals are way more productive than normal minerals. So in terms of efficiency per worker, they are great. So Jimmy the Marine is searching, scouting. Jimmy is dead. Luca is here. Let's see what Luca is going to do. Luca, run. Excellent. Two tanks, too much splash damage. But now... Clem, it's in a big dilemma. What am I going to do? Astrea it's acting like he's a Zerg, four bases and the gold one. Clem is just waiting. This observer is excellent, sees everything. In terms of army, Clem has uh, more when it comes to numbers, but Astrea has more quality. Two splash damage Colossus are going to do great against infantry. And the gateway is destroyed. Four widow mines. A lot of marauders to soak up some of the damage. And finally you have Vikings. Mm, excellent scouting. Now Clem knows about this uh, hidden mineral base. that is being exploited by the Protoss but between uh, this juicy mineral line is the Protoss army now who is going to win? as usual we are going to find out together we are baiting each other no one is really committed. Clem is waiting for Astrea to see what he is going to do, but in the meantime Astrea is getting a lot of minerals. In terms of income, you see the difference. This pylon is destroyed. Now we have a war prism going to the Terran base, probably a big wardrobe 
but here a missile turret is already here. Three colossus, a sensor tower, this is why you see this circle over here. And the war prison is dead. Only three zealot, not that much. Here is where the actual action is. That was just a distraction. We also have ghosts. They are excellent because of their ability to destroy the four shields of the Protoss. This tank, three kills, four kills. One Colossus still remains. In terms of army, they are equal. So, in terms of workers, 71 versus 72. But this is where the game is going to be lost or won. The disruptor can change everything with a good shot. And this is not a good shot. Ah. Three marines, it's okay. Six kills so far. Another base. So Astra is playing the macro game. Intense. 170 supply versus 172. Another war prism. It's trying to see if it can harass the Terran. And it will, it will. Direct into the mineral lines. That's a big warping of zealots. Not that many units in the main base. Clem needs to recall some of them, and while this is happening, one to punch. The Protoss army is attacking in full force. Epic battle happening as we speak. Luckily the SUVs are able to repair, but while this is happening a lot of units are being killed over here. The Vikings landed. They can attack from air and ground. And Astrea, definitely the winner. Well done Astrea. Thank you for watching and subscribe.